Hello everyone, this is Mrs. Spillay with the writing lesson for you today. We're going to be looking at expanded noun phrases in our writing today. So today we're going to be using expanded noun phrases in writing, but we're also going to be using commas in a list, and I will show you exactly what I mean in a minute. We will be using pictures of marching bands as a stimulus for our writing. So that means we'll be looking at a picture and thinking about how we can describe what we can see and possibly what we think we could hear to make up our expanded noun phrases. Don't forget, we're going to be remembering to use our year two skills list as well when we're doing our writing. So the first picture I've got is a scene of a marching band of children. And I can see that they're wearing bright scarlet jackets. Now, what does scarlet mean? It means red. And if you're looking at thesaurus, you'll be able to find alternative words. And that could be much more interesting than just saying bright red jackets. Then I can see they've got feathers in their hats. So I've got beautiful white feathers. Again, separating my two adjectives with a comma. And then we know they are friendly. So we've got friendly, comma, marching band. They are playing the drums. So what kind of music is the drums making? It's making booming drum music. Again, the comma in the list. How are they marching? They are marching rhythmic, rhythmically. Marching as one. And we know it's a wonderful day. And there must be lovely scenes from the happy crowds watching them. Now in the next picture, if we look at what they are wearing, we can see they're wearing beautiful, comma, blue and white uniforms. And we say uniforms because they're all wearing the same thing. Then some of them have got white feathers and I've called it soft white feathers, comma in my list. Again, the rhythmic marching has one because they're all marching together. And then I see the three at the front have got red feathers. Again, I'm not just saying red. I found another word and it's crimson. So I'm saying tall crimson feathers, comma in my list. And we know they are entertaining us. So we are saying they are entertaining marching band, comma. Again, the lovely scenes from the happy crowds booming from music. And in this picture, I can see some people playing clarinets. And the music from a clarinet sounds really sweet. So I put sweetest singing clarinet. And at the back, they've got some trumpets. The trumpets make a loud sound. So we are calling it vibrant, loud trumpets with my comma. And we know they're entertaining us. So I'm saying it's a wonderfully entertaining day. Again, my comma in the list. Now I've done a piece here and I'm going to read it to you. All the writing that's in green is the writing for the skills that you need to be putting in anyway when you are using year two skills. So remember to use your skills checklist when you are doing your writing. All the blue writing are the expanded noun phrases that I've put into my writing. And you're going to try to put some into yours. So let me read it. You can follow with me. Early on Saturday morning, we joined the busy, jostling crowd in our street and waited in anticipation. Amongst the chatter, I could hear the distant sounds of the entertaining marching band. Starting off as tiny red ants in the distance, they grew with the sound of their lively, jolly music. Children were wearing bright scarlet jackets and bashed their wooden sticks against their drums. Booming, rhythmic sounds filled the street. Beautiful crimson and white feathers swayed in the warm, gentle breeze. Behind them came the vibrant, loud trumpets and the sweetest singing clarinets followed. The scenes from the happy, smiling crowd was amazing. People clapped loudly and waved as the band marched past, marching as one in time with the music, 
row after row passed me until there were none. Then as fast as it started, the music stopped because it was sadly over for another year. Now that is my piece. Let's see if you can do writing a little bit better than mine. You can write a few paragraphs about a marching band. You can choose your own picture from the internet if you find one that's better than what I've got. Or you can just use the pictures that I provided for you. Did you think of any new expanded noun phrases to use in your writing? Remember, it is always useful to have a look in the thesaurus for new and interesting words to use in your writing. We'll be looking forward to reading all your great writing when we see you again. Keep writing, take care and stay safe until next time.